Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here. Voice of hardcore boxing. Or should I say still the voice of hardcore boxing. It's uh I think it's time to put some magic trees on in it, what do you reckon? We need magic tree time. There's hammer time and there's magic tree time, isn't there? Right, that's them off there. I just got one. Oh, no. Three. Oh. Uh, two sex. Uh, I must have dropped one somewhere, sure I had three. Uh, this car's a tip inside. Uh, so, Umar I fellow Umar, what can you do, what can you do, old Anthony Fowler I've just been told off my mate Rico is calling for him to be sacked, good old Anthony Fowler, eh? taking the moral high ground, personally I don't really care, who cares, who cares? Who cares about Umar IFL Umar? He's been slinking about, carrying off Annie Blah Blah. How's your Monday going, Umar? Right. Have a look. Have a look. The route is being calculated. Now turn right. So, Umar's in trouble, is he? Now let's just back up a little bit, shall we, regarding Umar, I have fellow Umar. Is he good at his job? Well, We've just heard some of the tweets that were coming out where he passed, but that's four years ago, isn't it? You're punishing a kid for something he did four years ago before he even started working for you. So let me just point this out if somebody wants to send this to Umar. My lawyer, Sonili Con Celia Connealy, says he's got a case if they sack him. Do you know why? There's nothing he's done while he's been employed by them. Coogan Cassius will know that, so we'll try and botch clever with it. But they haven't really got a leg to stand on if they get rid of him, have they? So, Umar, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because Coogan don't like lawyers. We had a bit of a trouble with James Helder and Coogan. October 2016, James Helder uh, were threatening lawyers on Dennis. So Dennis said, roll the dice, something I'd said. I said they were more or less employees of Frank Warren and Matchroom. I said they're employees of Frank Warren and Matchroom, these two here, Bill and Ben Flowerpot, man. That's what I said, right? They were threatening lawyers to Ingram Jones, the channel that I spoke on, Bay Loic TV. So Dennis rung me up and he, he goes, I've had James Elder on the phone. I thought, oh, I know what this is about. Don't forget, I'd only been with Dennis 18 months then. So I thought, oh, I've probably said something, I'm going to get into trouble here. So Dennis said, tell me what's happened. I said, well, all you need to do, Dennis, just watch the video. So we watched the video. <laughs> First one I ever did. Google my name, Russell Hartley, Bayloric TV. It's October 2016. And everything I said in that video has all come true in the last four years. Go and watch it. It's me when I won. It's me when I won. Very, very ruthless. Bayloric TV. Russell Hartley, October 31st, I think, 2016. And I just told it straight. Everything I said came true. It's good when you can go back and look, and then you can judge what sort of a person I am and what I stand for. Because f nearly four years later, well, everything happened. What I said now. Dennis turned around to Ingram and said, don't 
don't take it off Ingram I think he altered something but Dennis said don't take it off and then Dennis spoke to James Elder that's a true story and Ingram stood firm because Dennis said look I'll back you with a lawyer so that was that but Ingram were worried because they were threatening lawyers on Ingram you see when you try and bully somebody they tried to bully Ingram didn't you James Elder they tried to bully Ingram oh I said about Matchroom in it as well but Matchroom don't like lawyers even if they're not right they don't like to waste time on it they're too busy piling money up but they never did anything to Ingram they were using James Elder and Coogan to fire the bullets but it's no for Dennis is it to get a lawyer involved because I was working with him so they were trying to cause trouble that way but Eddie were pulling all the strings behind the scenes wasn't he and I don't think it was that much longer after McDonald left so but no I didn't get into trouble and Dennis to be fair he backed, he backed Ingram Jones all the way and they bottled out didn't they they never did notes there's, there's talkers and there's salt and vinegar walkers, isn't there? So let me tell you this, Umar, I have felt Umar. I ain't got... Prepare to turn right. I ain't got time of day for you, Umar, to be honest. When you had a chance to befriend the porkster, what did you do? You went, already oh, we've got this, like, this tweet off someone here. You didn't read my name out to Eddie, and Eddie didn't read it out. Because you know, don't you? You know I wanted you on channel. You know why I wanted Eddie on channel, don't you? You all know that. You all know that. That was Coogan's opening line in that club in Bulgaria. Please turn right in How's it going, Porky? All right. The yeah, not too bad. I don't want to fall out with you in case you put any 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 billboards out again. Well, I've had three out, mate. So, well, this is how it is, right? This is how it's gonna go down. If Umar goes and takes legal advice, he has still got a job. They'll have to pay him up. And let me tell you this, they're frightened to death for lawyers. They'll not want to take it on. So, Umar, if you've got any knackers, get in touch and I will give you a lawyer. I'll give you the details no, of a lawyer. Second, right. Or we'll take it on no win, no fee. How's about that one? Want to play games with lawyers, do you? Well, that's my game, lawyers. I've been at it with lawyers since 1985. You've done nothing wrong. Nothing wrong since you've been at IFL. I'm talking about something that happened four years ago. You have done nothing wrong. Stand your ground, kid. Unless you're getting paid cash in hand, then you're going to let stand on. <coughs> you've not brought the company into, di into disrepute or anything like that. You've not committed a criminal offence. You've not been prosecuted for anything. You've not hit anybody. I haven't caught me any drugs. I've not threatened anybody. You gave an opinion on boxing and what you think of people on social media four years ago. Go and see a lawyer, no win, no fee. If you can't, I will give you a lawyer. And if they want expenses, I will give them expense money. How's about that one? How's about that one, Omar? And you really had a chance to be a pal of mine, didn't you? But let me tell you this couple of other people that are willing to help you out Umar with this we're not saying we want to have a dig at Coogan and James Elder or whoever Coogan's win out who cares who is with it's about what's being right in it it's Please about what take the first exit at the roundabout it's about what's being right in it look what they did to O'Hara Davis and I like O'Hara Davis they hung him out to dry O'Hara Davis let me tell you hung him out to dry and he was born before Hillsborough disaster and all he said he was going to do O'Hara Davis well what? he was going to knock Tommy Coyle out and do an interview in now the sun take the first exit. Barry Hearn's got a column in the sun Paul Smith and Tony Bellew were fighting on sun sponsored cards and the Sun were owned at the time by Rupert Murdoch, who owned Sky. And he owned Sutty on the Sun when the hills were happened. So as far as I'm concerned, it's hypocrites and people taking moral high ground. Anthony Fowler! Got a seat coming out with. Last time I saw him, he was on the seat, the seat of his pants. No, as far as I'm concerned, it's bang out of order what's happened to uh, 
Kalawa Davis, but Omar, who cares? If you get sacked, who cares? But a bit of advice for uh, Omar. Stand your ground and you'll be alright. Stand your ground, lad. That's all you've got to do, stand your ground. But you start messing about with them people, when it comes to it, and it's you or them, you're gone. It's just like if Coogan steps out of line. If it's between him or a sponsor, Freddie Hearn, you're gone, Coogan, you're gone. You'll be going back to Frank Warren and hanging out at the back of him. You'll be gone. It's just that boxing is, it's ruthless. You've got to show loyalty. You can't play both sides at fence. It's like when Billy Joe fights, Coogan always says he wants him to win, doesn't he? Why? Who's he going to pick if Billy Joe fights Andrade? Billy Joe's his mate, and Coogan, the uh, godfather to Billy Joe's niece, he's got a tattoo on it. Name a tattoo on his arm. Thought he was supposed to be Mr. and Mr. Neutral, Coogan. Come on, channel Coogan, let's have a chat. Last thing you want is rubbish in your car, isn't it? Oh, what was that, then? No. Oh, no, no. We've got chicken. Chicken soup on the top now, we bought the top. So, poor Umar, but end of the day, what he said about Coogan, uh, Dominic Ingle, and Bell you and Tony and what he said about Tyson Fury, Tony Bell you and David A. Did he say something about David A? Or? No, it was Tyson Fury wasn't it and Bell you. Tyson Fury and Bell you, they've been playing media game years, haven't they? They've said a lot worse. I think he should just apologise to Dominic Ingle, because he'd done no wrong to him, had he Dominic? And that's it. They all know the game, don't they? These people have been manipulating the game for ages. They're the best at it. Dominic Ingalls never had a fight in his life. He's a millionaire. Bellew's beat who? Who's Tony Bellew's best two wins? David A twice, held together by a sellotape. Tyson Fury, he's worth over 100 million, isn't he, after the next two fights? Who's he beat, though? Cunningham and Vlad. Look, these people know the game. They know the game. So they'll not even be bothered Tyson and Bellew. Dominic might be a bit offended. Because he hasn't really done all wrong, has he? But Bellew and Tyson are at it all the time, aren't they? Digging people out. So how can Coogan do that out of respect for Tyson and Bellew and uh, whoever? Dominic Ingle. Good God! Out of respect for them. <laughs> Come on! Hey? We're talking about a kid's job here, aren't we? That's how I look at it anyway. Oh, three of them. Brilliant. Like an office today, isn't it, my car? Go in here. I've got a call somewhere in Leeds first, and then I've got somewhere else to go. Omar I a fellow Omar. Who cares? Who cares? Go on then. Nosey. Okay, Rico, mate, no worries, have a safe flight. Uh... Always an excuse, people, mate, in there, eh? It's always an excuse. Everybody has plenty to say, don't they, on WhatsApp? I tell you to come on channel, everybody's arsehole falls out, doesn't it? Because everybody's got an excuse. 
Everybody's got an excuse. Unbelievable, all these hard cores. me and my camera then so look at all this rubbish here I've got doing a bag for it but now who cares for Umar I mean come on it's one job in it but there has to be some parliamentary procedure doesn't there 24 miles to go 354. There has to be some parliamentary procedure. It's got to be fair play, hasn't there? If they can do that to O'Hara, well, he's got to be put through a ring and honey, but calling the people of Liverpool bin dippers, that's not good, is it? Because he could get a crack from anybody, couldn't he? So, and I'm a Liverpool fan, so I don't want to be Umar, but if it's not Umar copying it, it's Dillian White in it this week. Dillian, nobody wants to fight me white. channel yes or no I've got 30 minutes spare right I'll be 28 minutes Seconds. Too many grasses about. <laughs> Living in America. And I to you, station to station. Right. Let's have a look. Umar, I have fellow Umar. Is it over? Who cares? Expect grovelling apologies. <laughs> Saunders Smith is the only game in town. Why are all these pay-per-view fights not happening? Right. The point I want to make is this. The point I'm going to make is this, right? If Billy Joe doesn't fight Canelo in May, right, and Callum Smith don't fight him, They've both got to fight somebody because between a pair of them, who have they beat? They've beat a shot to bits, injured George Groves and a light middleweight in Andy Lee. They're the best wins. They're the wins that they won belts off. The others, Rocky Fielding and Assen and Dam, oh my god, career middleweight. Stepping up to fight a giant light heavyweight, boiled down to super middle. Do me a favour. Callum Smith and Billy Joe have got to fight this May. They've got to roll the dice. A pair of them are nearly 60 and 0. Can't keep protecting them O's. Can't keep doing it, man. MMA, UFC, whatever you want to call it, Conor McGregor's Brigade. They're catching boxing up. They're catching it up, and do you know what? I don't think I could do it, but if I had to do, I could walk away from boxing. I could go follow them at UFC, but you'd need you'd need two year. You'd need a couple of year, wouldn't you, to uh, to study? I would. I wouldn't want to put me sound like I am now in a situation where I'm talking about something I don't know. Otherwise, I'd have to go behind the camera like other people do and just read articles out. Because most of them people who are behind camera, they're just reading an article. Whereas me, I'll jot a few things down, memorise it. That's it. I'm driving car. I keep conversation going. I'm classed as a genius, so people say, but I doubt it very much. But we've done all this, haven't I? We've got this far, haven't we? 
and let's see how far we can go. I've got a massive meeting with them around, around the channel tomorrow. I've got an 11 o'clock meeting tomorrow regarding the channel that's going to shape, shape it moving forward. And it's either roll the dice or just stay as I am because it doesn't seem to be growing, but we're not buying any, are we? I spoke to somebody the other day. You got about 18,000 subscribers. So you do that? I said, buy them. I said, you bought? I said, buy them. I said, I ain't doing that. You know, they've been going nine months. You don't know boxing though, it's another sport, but everybody thinks they can do that football one, don't they? Have you seen that channel called The United Stand on YouTube? Mark Goldridge, he's a millionaire now, isn't he, Mark? He's only a young kid. He knows his stuff though about football, but he picked the biggest club in it to do it. And he's got help from his mates, and they're all tech minded. So good luck to him, but I don't like Man United anyway. I hope they get sunk, I hope they get relegated. I don't wish anything on anybody, but Man United, I do. I hope they get sunk. Shout out to my mate Frank. <laughs> Frank Smith from Berry. He's a Man U fan. How are you doing, Frank? I hope your pal's all right. Uh, Dave, is it? And that, what's that other kid? The kickboxing kid, is it? I forgot his name. Is it Danny? I hope he's all right. I hope he's sorted his head out. I think they all live near Scott Quick, don't they, them boys? doing there, eh? Taking photos. Taking photos of me. Yeah, so... Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, I'd like to see that fight. I'd like to see that fight. Yeah, I would. I'd like to see that fight. I think it's a good fight. I think it's a really good fight. Let's see what Dendan's up to. He's wagging up my arse here, I'm like, doing fotty. Hey, Rich. What do you hear? What do you say, Dennis? I'm in car on way to Leeds. I'm going to yeah. look at that fighter that you sent me to saw. I'm filming as well, so I'm not going to say fighter's name. But, how are you? I'm all right, pal. I'm just in a meeting with my good friend. And guess what his name is? It's, uh, Russell. It's, uh, yeah, you're my good friend. But this this fellow is he wrote a Christmas carol. He wrote a Christmas carol. I don't know Santa Claus. I don't know Father Christmas. Charles. Go on. Charles Dickens. I don't know. Yes, that's his name's Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Oh, he he wrote children's books, didn't he, then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, so. I used to read his book. Did you write children's books as well, Charles? I did. <laughs> yeah, so, so children's yeah. stuff, so... Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to meet with my good old friend, Charles. Is invite still open for match tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, is it yeah, alright yeah. to bring a pal, yeah? Yeah, you bring whoever you want. All right, I'll, 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 I'll get back to you in it. Can I ring you later then? When I get done in, I'll give you a full report on what happened, yeah? Alright, cool. Alright, see you in a bit. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. You can't pin him down, Dennis, can you? You know, you have your little jobs to do, don't you? In day and that. You know, I have my own stuff to do, and there's usually something involved with, with, with Dennis or, and that's it, you don't. can't pin him down. I don't even know if he's in. Uh, oh, yeah, he must be in country if his team plays tomorrow. Don't Repeat they? Team, keep right. March tomorrow. Tech and mate. I don't like watching Liverpool live. Please keep right uh, in 800 yards we'll onto the motorway. Oh, this kid here signs and leads. And no, it isn't Darren Tetley, so anybody who thinks it's Darren Tetley, no, it ain't. And it ain't Tyrone Nurse, and the kid's not from Leeds, but I'm going to meet him in Leeds now with his trainer. So we're going to see, aren't we? We're going to see. Now keep right. I'm trying to think where 
which one it is now. Very rich. So, other than that, I'm alright. Let's. Uh, oh, Kelbrook situation. The Kelbrook. Do you know what Kelbrook's going to go down as? I'm not going to say he's going to go down as a Frankie Gavin. So I think Frankie Gavin could have been. He could have been the Roberto Duran in my eyes if he was doing it lightweight. He could have dominated multi skilled. Skills off the charts. Guts me when I think about it, wasted talent. But Kel Brook, I think, I don't think he wasted his talent. I think somebody ruined him, they damaged him mentally and physically, mentally in his head and physically, I think they damaged him. And it came back to haunt him when he got in trouble against Errol Spence. When he got in trouble against Golovkin, they never gave him chance to fight through it. They threw the towel in. He was fighting fires, wasn't he? The fruit towel in. The only other time I'd seen Kel Brook in trouble, because he's that good, were against Carson Jones. And he fought through it and got a broken nose and he maybe squeaked home. So, maybe they knew something that we didn't. I don't know. But I don't, I, I'm just going to go back to what I saw. You put in a welterweight in with a killer middleweight. And he'd never been beat, the kid. So they put him in with a killer middleweight, killer middleweight, instead of letting him have a run at welterweight. I mean, we had a, a British kid there from Sheffield as a world champion undefeated. And then you're throwing him in with Golovkin. Maybe they thought he were going to get beat against Edward Spence anyway, so we thought we'll get the Golovkin fight in first. I don't know, but it just leaves a sour taste in my mouth, that, you know. Just leaves a sour taste in my mouth. It does, honestly, it just... Can't get over it. I can't get over it, and I want even in ring. So, why does everyone fear Dillian White? We've done that one, haven't we? We spoke He's about we spoke about mm -hmm. all that, didn't we? Share elements last six. Saunders Smith, true, that's the only game in town. Why are these pay-per-view fights not happening? Right, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Revol Everything revolves around that, doesn't it? Right, Eddie Earn, how many pay-per-view fighters has he got really on his books? Joshua, yes. Who else has he got who's pay-per-view? Who can fight anybody? Can fight Eddie Yates off Coronation Street, Joshua, and it'd be pay-per-view. He can get away with it. We saw him fight Tackham. Right. We saw him in with Tackham. 62 toward Manchester. He's in with Tackham, right? That's pay per view. <laughs> so Joshua won. Who else though? Dylan White, he's got to have a dance partner. Joshua doesn't need a dance partner, does he? Dylan White does. Don't tell me Shizora Trilogy is going to be pay per view. Parker, he brings New Zealand TV, they had to give him it. But Parker and Dillian White are not from, not born in England and there's no belt on line. Parker, sorry. No, Dillian, right. Dillian against Povetkin, no belt on line, not born in England. So they're not paying no sanctioning fees, it's a cash grab. Dillian against Oscar Rivers, not born in England, no belt on line, cash grab. These are cash grabs from all these to fill the dates. They can't fill the dates, the slots, the pay-per-view slots. Go and look at my video on Bayloric TV 2016. You'll see a full over two years before I first started with this. So that's just how it goes, isn't it? Just how it goes. 
Ahí que ven. 